Hello students, today we are going to talk about the, we are going to solve the question answers or first of all the NCRT based questions of the chapter frictional force, ok. So first of all to begin with we will talk about the questions which are being given in the NCRT. So the first one is exercise, ok, we are talking about exercises. So the first is fill in the blanks, ok, the first is fill in the blanks and here two blanks are being given. So the first one is friction opposes the dash between the surfaces in contact with each other okay again i'll repeat it friction opposes the dash okay see with this uh, sentence only we can understand what is the meaning and what should be there in the blank friction opposes what children friction always only opposes the motion isn't it so friction opposes the motion between the surface in contact with each other ok. So we are solving NCRT, I will write here NCRT ok. So first is fill in the blanks, ok so the first one friction opposes dash so what do the friction what does friction oppose children always remember friction opposes motion ok so first one is friction opposes motion ok you know whatever uh, direction you try to apply force ok now I am when, when I am moving this side ok I am applying my force ok I am pushing the ground with the feet backwards isn't it? while walking while, while walking what we do we push the ground ok with the help of our foot and then we move forward and to this what is happening because of this uh, like to every action there is opposite and equal reaction and so when we are pushing with the force again our body is pushed forward ok. So if the body ok if the, this is the body and if we are trying to move this body this side this is a box and we are trying to move this box towards this side obviously friction will work on this side ok. So if I change the direction of the motion now this is the direction of the motion then what will happen children this will be the direction of the friction that means the motion and the friction will always be in the opposite direction ok whenever wherever body moves to wants to move or are, is you know the force is applied in one direction always the friction will be working in the opposite direction and will tend to stop the motion of the particular body ok. Now come to the second fill in the blank now this one was A children here one is not written here A is written so even I am going to write A over here now B is written and so I am going to write B over here now what is B? Friction depends on the dash of the surfaces ok. So now friction depends upon what children? Friction totally depends upon how the surface is is not it? The surface is rough friction will be more, if surface is smooth friction will be less ok. So friction depends upon what of the substance children? What it is written? Substance only in a surface it is written. So what surface on uh, like I just read it friction depends on the dash of the surfaces. So what should come children? Nature, it depends upon the nature of the surface. How nature of the surface children? Just talk about I am moving in on the floor is not it and then if I drop here a lot of soaps uh, water, soap water then I will I be able to walk in the same way as I am moving now? I would not be able to walk why? Because the friction depends upon the surface, nature of the surface. If the nature of the surface is very smooth, you might have seen, observed, okay, or gone through uh, no, some experience. Some at certain places the tiles are very very slippery. You know, uh, that means they are very uh, like the different types of tiles are there. You know, sometimes we don't, uh, we are not able to walk properly. The grip is not there. 
the grip is not formed between the, uh, the sandals and the floor. Why? Because the tiles are very smooth. Okay, and as the smoothness will increase, what will happen, children? The friction will be uh, reducing. So, what is that? The friction always depends upon the nature of the surface. If the surface is very smooth, then the friction will be redu getting reduced. If the friction is very, uh, if the surface is very rough. Okay, if the surface is very rough, then what will happen children? Obviously, the friction will increase. If the smooth surface is there, friction will get reduced. If the surface is very, very uh, rough, then what will happen? The friction will be increased. Okay. So, friction depends upon the nature of the substance, surface, okay, nature of the surface and friction is always opposite in the direction of the motion. Okay. Now, we will talk about the next question. Now, next question is not there only. I will just have to turn the page children. Okay. So, next question is okay. again the fill in the blanks are given here also children. So, we will talk about the next fill in the blank children. It is number C. Friction produces dash. Okay. Friction produces what? See, we can write this is an open ended uh, type of a fill the blank. Do you know the meaning of open ended type of fill the blanks? That means you can write multiple answers over here. You can write that friction, uh, what it is, friction produces, friction produces wear and tear also. Friction gives rise to wear and tear, okay. But friction, if we talk about generally just what can be the answer which is very appropriate. So, what friction creates children? Rub your hands together, okay. So, what is being produced? Heat is produced, is not it? So, friction produces heat, is not it? Friction produces heat. So, this was the third fill in the blank. Now, we will talk about the next one children. The sprinkling of powder on the carom board dash friction. Okay, just now we have discussed children that if we, uh, if we are walking on the rough surface, roughness will increase the frictional, a friction force or frictional force of friction and smoothness, okay, if the, if the, if the floor, if the surface is very smooth, if the surface is very slippery, then friction will be reduced, is not it? So, when the carom, uh, on the carom, the uh, boric powder or the carom powder has been sprinkled, then what will happen children? the powder will make that surface very very slippery and if it is slippery then what is happening children the friction is being reduced is not it. So, what is the fill in the blank children sprinkling of powder on the carom board dash the friction can it increase the friction no it will obviously decrease the friction. So, what was the fill in the blank again sprinkling of powder on the carom board dash the friction. So, it obviously will reduce the friction. Okay. So, more the slippy, slippery uh, surface less will be the friction. For example, we cannot walk on the slide. We cannot, uh, the, we cannot walk on the slide because slide is very very slippery. But we walk on slopey uh, no, bridges, slopey like the slopes we walk. Okay. We talk about some hotels always slope, uh, slopes are there, but that slopes are not very slippery. Okay, but the slides are very, very slippery because the intention there is to slip only. Okay, we talk about water parks, when we talk about uh, some gardens, when this, when the, where the slides are there, the purpose is only to enjoy the slide. The purpose is only to get, you know, to slide and come down. And so, if you just come, just think children, if the, if the slide is made up of concrete, okay. So, will the children will be able to enjoy, will you be able to enjoy uh, when the, when you have to slide from the concrete rough surface and then you will be reaching into the pool, will you be enjoying that? No, not at all. Okay, so that is the reason children, if the, sometimes uh, the friction has to be increased in some places, at some places what has to be done, friction needs to be decreased. Okay, so now we will talk about the next thing, now it is the question number 2, this first question number 1. Now, question number 2. Okay. So, what is question number 2 children? For children, 
okay for the age is four four children will uh, four children were asked to arrange forces due to rolling stati static and sliding frictions in a decreasing order their arrangements are given below okay so uh, children were asked to arrange these three forces rolling static and sliding friction uh, which wise decreasing order or increasing order decreasing order so your four children were asked to uh, you know to arrange the different kind of forces in decreasing order okay so the first one has done what a i am going to read rolling static and sliding but we have to arrange it in a what way decreasing way that means the highest one the the one which has lot of uh, okay that the friction which is the greatest one okay so b1 is rolling sliding and stati static c is static sliding and rolling and d is sliding sliding static and rolling i am saying decreasing order so the maximum okay the maximum friction is seen when i'll write question number 2 there okay so we'll write the question number 2 over here now we have to arrange the three kind of okay do you remember the three kind of friction which we have uh, discussed in the chapter static friction rolling friction and sliding friction isn't it so we have to arrange these frictions in the uh, which kind of order decreasing order isn't it so which one is the uh, like high like no great like when the body will experience or face uh, the greatest friction so that one is static friction first of all static friction then sliding friction and then rolling friction okay so which one is this the correct number is where okay this one is c static sliding and rolling okay so the question number 2 the c one is correct one okay how can we understand this children see static means what when the friction is created between the two surfaces uh, where both the surfaces are not in motion okay the friction created between the two surfaces where motion is not there okay so when the body is in uh, stationary position when the body is not moving when the body is still when the body the motion is not there okay then the amount of friction will be very high isn't it now suppose this we talk about this box it is being kept on the table so uh, while discussing the topics also it was discussed that it is difficult i gave it example of the car also that if the car has stopped working and then you need to start that car so what has to be done it has to be pushed so to bring that stationary car into moving position will be very difficult but once when it comes into motion then it becomes easy for the people to push the car are you getting me clear i am saying that in the initial position if you start pushing the car you will take time more uh, energy will be required to bring that uh, friction from static to sliding friction okay so why it is the uh, uh, like the body faces uh, static friction more why a static friction uh, is the highest the greatest friction why children because in this case the body or the surfaces are not in motion so it is difficult always to bring a position from rest position to in uh, the condition which condition to bring this body in motion but when the body starts when the body is in motion then it becomes easy to slide a body so the sliding friction is lesser than the static friction here the both the surfaces okay this is a surface road and here this one is the car okay so or the roller or the cycle or whatever okay so now here when it is not in motion it is just kept so this is what it is uh, what static friction means it is stationary it's not moving now we have to push this now when it is pushed and it comes in motion but and it it has started uh, uh, you know it is in motion it's moving so when the body moves okay when the body is moving so this will not be for more time in contact with this surface it will keep on moving so the interlocking get decreases and you know? there is no much time to get intermingled for to get you know to be in contact for much time 
So, static friction is lesser than the static friction because in static movement is only not there ok. Now, we have to move that body. So, sliding friction is why it is lesser than static friction because in static uh, in sliding friction the body has started moving. So, surface are in contact, but they are not in contact for longer time they just you know the body is moving. So, the contact is being broken and the next contact is contact is formed and again it is being broken. Now, the least uh, friction is experienced when in the rolling friction in rolling uh, when we can say that the friction is rolling when the body rolls when the body when this one surface is rolling on the other surface ok. When one surface is rolling on the other surface then we, ta we then we can say that this is a rolling friction. Now, rolling friction is the friction where the body uh, has to face uh, very less friction in comparison to the static friction and sliding friction ok. Why body uh, will uh, have to face very less friction children because now board see rolling friction the friction depends on the shape also is not it because of that rolling friction the, the, the ball is rotating the wheels are rotating very fast ok. So, friction is very very less and that is the reason how we can divide how we can arrange them in decreasing order means highest uh, uh, friction is experienced uh, in static ok static friction is at the highest level then sliding and then is what rolling friction rolling friction ok. What is rolling friction children when the body rolls on the surface one body is rolling on the other surface ok. So, this was about question number 2 and question number 2 the correct answer is static sliding and rolling. Now, we will talk about third one ok before going to the third one I will have to erase this all these things ok. So, now we will read third one children now. Alida runs her toy car on dry marble floor, wet marble floor, newspaper and towel spread on the floor. The force of friction acting on the car on different surfaces in increasing order will be. I will read it again children. See Alida runs her toy car on dry marble floor first then wet marble floor then newspaper and then towel spread on the floor that means what is the meaning of the question children that this is a floor ok. So, uh, first of all uh, the motion on the marble then water is there then wet marble ok. Then what they have told they have told that uh, newspaper is being spread ok. Newspaper is being spread and then towel or the towel has been spread. Then where the friction will be uh, less and where it will be highest we have to arrange this in increasing order that means ulta that means first of all we need to find the place where the least uh, friction is being experienced. So, children wet marble is not it see I am walking here and if water is being thrown over here ok somebody threw uh, somebody throws water. So, what it will be so easy for me to walk no we will get I will get sleep slip ok. So, <laughs> I will I'll be sleeping off over here. So, so what what is what will be there I would not be able to walk properly why because the marble will be wet. So, wet marble is the first one then who is going to provide little less resistance uh, little uh, more resistance than wet marble dry marble ok. Then it is also easy to walk on the paper, but the last one is what if you are talking about toy ok when the towel is spread ok. So, what will happen the resistance will be increased like anything is not it. So, car a toy car they are talking about when it moves on the wet marble floor then marble floor and then it, it, it is allowed to move on the paper and then it is allowed to move on the towel. So, where the friction uh, the friction will be least one children the friction will be least on the which one is this here question fourth or third or what just wait it is third ok. So, third this is third one the least friction will be experienced least I am talking about. So, wet marble floor ok then after wet marble floor it will be dry marble floor 
yeah they have given that only na dry marble where it is yes. So okay and after that also they have given okay after that they have given what newspaper and at the last toil. So, here the friction will be in increasing form here the friction will be increasing in this way first of all least uh, friction will be given by or faced by wet marble then dry marble floor ok then newspaper if you keep the newspaper and try to move the car on that it would not be moving as easily as it was doing on going on on the wet uh, marble floor or dry marble floor. Then last is towel you would not be able to move the car only if it is uh, that Turkish uh, the thick tall ok. So, you would not be able to move your car on this. So, this is what what does it prove children it proves that the friction get reduced on the smooth surface and the friction get increased on the rough surface ok. So, now this was our third one now we will talk we will see what is given. Hmm. So, after third the question is given suppose your writing desk is little tilted ok. Suppose your writing desk is tilted a little a book kept on it starts sliding down show the direction of the frictional force acting on it. See this is your table now it is tilted so tilted means like this obviously it would not be so tilted it will be slightly tilted ok and now so what was the question children again uh, where it has gone suppose your writing desk is tilted a little a book kept on it starts sliding now book is kept over here ok this was a table it is kept over here now the, the, the table has got tilted. So, book uh, will be like this is not it and it is going to come down ok it is going to come down. So, what will happen in this case where the direction of friction is see now the motion of the box is in this way motion. So, obviously friction will be in this way ok why friction will be in the opposite direction because the motion and friction cannot be in one direction always friction is what which opposes the uh, motion ok. So, whatever you decide if the if you tilt it like this then ok means what like this then the box will come down like this but then again friction will work in the opposite direction ok. So, uh, what is this we have to write suppose your writing desk is tilted a little a bar book kept on it starts sliding down show the direction of frictional force acting on it. So, what shall be our answer on this question number is fourth ok. Hope you have understood that this is a bench ok now it has got tilted. So, it has been tilted so the box will go down and the direction will be this. So, direction this direction always opposite direction will be there and who will be there the opposite direction the friction will be there that means the friction always works in the opposite direction to the motion. Now, if the box I have told now first it was tilting like this now it is tilting in this way. So, now friction this movement is seen over here, but then friction will take the body towards this side ok. So, this is how uh, what the question is suppose your writing desk is tilted a little a book kept on it starts sliding down show the direction of frictional force acting on it. So, I will just have to rub this children the little part ok. So, what shall I write children uh, ok the ok when the desk got tilted that is what question is there no. Okay. When the disc got tilted the frictional force force will be in the
okay the frictional force will be in the direction opposite to the motion okay so i can even draw like this this is the first condition when book is here kept over here okay this is a condition now this table has become tilted so this is b position okay now when this is the position so what will happen now here this is the direction of the motion okay this is a b c d so c d is moving towards b and friction will be where here will be the friction okay here is the motion box is okay box is moving in this direction and friction is acting in the opposite direction always remember friction is going to always uh, it is going to be where in the opposite direction to the motion it always opposes the motion okay so you uh, you can understand from the diagram also and even you can make tilted this way okay you can tilt the table in the other direction also but the thing is that what wherever the book will move that means motion wherever the motion is the friction is going to work in the opposite direction okay so what does this prove friction will always work in the direction opposite to the motion so what was the question children that if the table if the disk whatever is it has become little tilted then what will happen to the book and where the uh, this uh, friction will be moving or uh, can be you know experienced so uh, what is happening when the table is being uh, tilt has become tilted the book is going to slide down from the table but the direction of the friction will be opposite to the direction of the motion of that uh, book okay wherever the motion is if the motion is in this direction okay then the friction will be in this direction okay and if the friction is in this direction okay then motion we'll talk about motion first okay this one is the first condition when the motion is here okay like motion is here but friction will be taking the thing there it will drag the thing back now if the friction is towards this side then we will talk about motion first if the motion is this side so friction will be taking the things backward okay so this was all about the uh, question number 1 the fill in the blanks okay so what was there like uh, friction always opposes the motion then friction depends upon the nature of the surface okay then uh, what is being produced by the uh, friction heat is produced due to friction then uh, what was the last one reduces uh, uh, what was the last blank actually uh, the smooth surface something like that was there okay so last one was uh, sprinkling of powder it was so sprinkling of powder is going to reduce the friction and then d was only there no oh my god e is also there children i just left e1 e is sliding friction is dash then the static friction so we have done just in this uh, question number 2 isn't it e i will write here or else i'll drop this and write here okay so i forgot to write e children so what is there in the e children what is being asked here sliding friction is dash then the static friction just now we have studied isn't it static friction is more so what is there it will be less okay so sliding friction is less than the static friction okay so this was all about our uh, fill in the blank then after that uh, question number second was there to arrange the three frictions in uh, some order so which order they have asked over here they have asked from highest level to the lowest level 
okay the the friction is more where so it is highest in static friction then sliding friction and it is being it is uh, observed that the, the uh, rolling friction experiences least friction okay now then they have asked that a car the child is moving the car and they have given four options wet marble floor marble floor towel and uh, before that newspaper so you have to arrange this according to the friction okay the first of all least friction then going towards the maximum friction so wet wet marble will uh, give very less friction it okay very less friction will be there then uh, dry marble little more than that newspaper will experience little more friction over then tar will be providing will be giving uh, there the maximum friction will be created okay so this was our question number 3 now come to the question number 4 they are saying that one table is there on the table book is kept now table gets tilted so obviously book is going to come down so when here the book is in this uh, surface it is coming down so where the friction uh, the friction will be working so friction will be working towards upper side the book is coming below so the friction is going to bring the thing and keep the thing up okay why because friction always opposes the motion okay friction will always oppose the motion so we have written when the desk got, got tilted the frictional force will be in the direction opposite to the motion when the desk got tilted okay understood so now we'll talk about the next question fifth one i think so so please note this down so that i can drop the blackboard